The TCAT Crossville is one of 27 TCATs located across the state of Tennessee. Uh, uh, some TCATs are very large, some are very small. Uh, all have the same goal. Every one of us are all workforce providers. We're, we are here to, to uh, keep a steady flow of students out to the workforce. Not all TCATs train in the same area. Some are really, really diverse. Some are more toward the more traditional skill sets, welding, machine shop, things of that nature. We're trying to add a little bit more diversity education. We're sort of kind of wanting to branch out a little bit more. Obviously up here on the plateau, uh, we feel like hospitality and recreation, those sort of programs like that would be, would be good ones to have here. Also with this program in particular, uh, we're the only TCAT offers a hybrid uh, and electric vehicle program technician certification. So this one is, is a little bit, uh, little bit more different than some of the other ones. In building construction technology, we teach energy efficient leads five-star houses. Uh, we also have other programs here in our electronics program. We have a solar voltaic a portion of it for solar energy, as well as a component for wind energy. Our heating, ventilation, and air conditioning class, uh, we were one of the first TCATs to ever incorporate geothermal. We have a geothermal well here on the campus and a geothermal trench, uh, which is adjacent to the campus on where we do a project house. So we incorporate all, all of those sort of green energy training as well. Well, one of the things that hinders people from buying hybrid and electric cars is that they don't know where they're gonna get them worked on once they go out of warranty. We seen a need there and started uh, investigating and seen there really was a need and so we started to put it together. It would be counterproductive for a TCAT to teach a, a, a program and train students in something they can't get a job in. So we went around to some of the dealerships and asked if they had qualified technicians that were trained in, in hybrid and electric vehicle technology. And obviously all the dealerships in Crossville, Cookville area, even is, is a little bit further east of us, uh, that, that said, yes, there's definitely a need for this. So we kind of evaluate that, set up the training needs, get with people in the industry that really know what's going on, and go from there, set up the program, start recruiting, and get the students in. And as it, as it goes in Tennessee, if there's a, this is a, a behemoth for drawing industry to this state with things like the Drive to 55 initiative, where the Tennessee Promise and the Reconnect and these spinoffs from there. And, and all of those things, that, that all that does is just show industry that, hey, Tennessee is making this happen. And we feel like the TCATs are, are a great part of that. What we're trying to do is get technicians out there that can safely work on these cars. And we start right from the very beginning, basic electricity. And we go from basic electronics, then we start looking at components, how the components work, then how the components work in the cars, and then we bring them out and start actually taking the cars apart. Well, the, the components in these cars, I mean, it's, it's kind of a, a mix. It's really the same industrial electricity type motors and controllers and things like that, but it's in a car. And so it doesn't have, they also don't have as many uh, moving parts as a regular car. Uh, so there's a lot less wear. The training aids are great because what, what we use them for, there's some things like, for instance, there's just an example is there's a resolver in there that shows position of, of the motors. If that resolver gets moved, it just became a big paperweight. So. We do that on these trainers first and let them take it apart, see what it's made of, see why it messes things up when you do the wrong thing and uh, without actually doing any damage. When they take it apart and put it back together, um, they do a little presentation showing other newer students how they done it and what problems they had and that kind of thing and then it just, it just passes on down the line. TCATs are also large in community service. We love our students to be able to see what they're learning here, how that influences not only what they're, what they're going to go out and work in, but how the impact of their training can affect an entire community. For instance, this particular vehicle, your, your all's car, Mr. Loggins, the marketing director for City of Crossville, uh, you know, he's a big green energy guy, so he, he got in contact with us in regards to the Prius. Instructor Stacy Johnson had some parts here left over from other projects that we had, and uh, you know they were donor things and to be used as far as education. Things like this are, are what we like to do. That's the real hands-on. You know, a student can stay in a classroom and just you know have theory, 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 but we like the more hands-on what they're actually going to see out in the field. 
this was a good example. The car was, was brought up here, Stacy had the parts, the students uh, needed something, a project to work on, and I think you guys are gonna be satisfied with a, with, a, with a good running Prius. First of all, we just went through and checked everything to see, you know, see what all we did need to do. Uh, we found both a low 12 volt system, so we dealt with that battery and got it back up to speed. And uh, then we pulled out the, the high voltage battery. This high voltage battery, we were able to take it down. There's some processes you go through to, to condition it. In this case, it did have a bad V block. And uh, we had one laying around here just to use part that we was able to put back in it and put it back in the car and everything came out fantastic. This featured spotlight created by WCTE.